Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. I've been wearing it for a few days and today is going to be a wear test slash demonstration video. So stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so this foundation has been out for a few weeks now. I believe maybe two weeks at the most. I would have had this video out to you guys a lot earlier, but I was having a hard time trying to figure out my color. I would go in and get matched and then take it home and then it wasn't the color. So I do believe I have the right color now. So this is my third time trying to get the color right. Um, I tried it the first two times and no avail. I got the wrong colors. The first color I got was 71WY. Then I got um, 80 NN. Those two colors were not good at all. 80 NN was super dark and it oxidized even darker. And then the 71 WY was way too light and it was grayish around here where my pigmentation is. So I do believe that I picked up the right color this time. So I've already primed my face. Um, I'm gonna leave everything that I'm using down in the description box as I usually do. So I prefer using a brush with this foundation. I've used a sponge before and I just, I don't know, I like the brush better. So right at the gate, you can tell what kind of foundation this is because it is very, very liquidy. Um, I hope you guys can see that. Yeah, so as you guys can see, it is like already like dripping off. It's very, very liquidy. So it, it's gonna be lightweight. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, move that around on my hand because I like to warm up my foundation. So I'm just gonna start applying it. This is definitely what it says it is, a medium buildable foundation. I will say it's more like a sheer to medium buildable coverage because there's nothing full coverage about this foundation. I think that if you have um, some textured skin in some areas here and there, you may want to consider um, concealing those areas before you apply this foundation. But this foundation is really, really, really your skin but better. So Urban Decay came out with the foundation called the Naked Foundation. And that only came in about 20 shades. I tried my best to get the right shade in that, but of course my efforts were not successful. So um, I just wasn't able to use that foundation. I bought it, but I didn't use it because I was tired of trying to get the right color. So um, for them to come out with 50 shades is bravo. Bravo. I think they're doing a lot better. And you know, what? I think since Fenty came out and kind of like shook everything up. A lot of these companies are having to fall in line. And um, sometimes it just takes someone saying, yes, you can, you can do it. You can do it, it's possible. People people will buy it, you know? So um, they did a really good job with this foundation. It is super, super weightless, that is for sure. You do not feel this foundation on. Honestly, once I bronze and um, put my blush on and highlight, I feel those products on my skin way more than I feel the foundation. Cause like right now, any other foundation I was wearing, I probably would go in and apply some more because I would be like, did I not cover everything? But I feel like it gives a decent coverage. I think sometimes we think that we need more coverage when we really don't. But with this foundation, it gives you a nice layer of foundation, your skin, but better. You don't look super cakey. I wouldn't apply anything on top of this because the more you apply it, the more cakey it looks, especially depending on your um, skin type. I would say that if you are oily, oily combination, normal, normal dry, you will like this foundation. Um, if you are severely extra, extremely dry, you may not like this foundation because it is a matte. Um, I would say it is a comfortable matte, just like the Fenty is comfortable matte, but I can honestly say the Fenty is way more, um, has more weight to it than this foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then we're gonna do a wear test. 
all right guys so i am done with my face this is just a normal everyday face i guess um i didn't want to apply too much to my face because i wanted you guys to get a true idea of what the foundation looks like but i don't have any brightening concealer on so i just want you guys to see what i look like i don't even have any bronzer on because i want you guys to get a true idea of what this foundation looks like and you guys it is just like real life skin as you guys can see, I'm already getting hot because I turned my fan off, but I'm going to go out and run some errands. The time is now about two o'clock. So I'm gonna do some footage outside so you guys can see what it looks like outside. And I'm gonna do some running around. It is very hot outside today. So you guys are gonna get a first look at what the foundation looks like after a few hours. I'm not sure what time I'm coming back, but I will be back and I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so I am back. The time is now 8.18. So this foundation is still intact. Even though I was sweating outside because it was really, really hot outside, it's still in place. It's not moving all around my face. Um, of course, my eye shadow and my lipstick has gone gone away um but for the most part my foundation is in place and it looks very natural i feel like the longer you have this foundation on the more it sinks into your skin it's like it marries your skin and it becomes one with your skin and it makes it look even more skin like than it did at the beginning when i first put it on i kind of feel like it oxidized just a little bit but not to a point where it's like a problem but I think a lot of that is because, I feel that way because um, I didn't put any under eye brightening concealer like I usually like to do to make myself look a little bit more awake. So that may be the issue, but like I said, I wanted to make sure I didn't manipulate the foundation as much because I want you guys to see what the foundation looked like. But for the most part, I think it looks really, really good. What do you guys think about it? Um, it says it's 24 hour wear. So like you guys see, I feel like it's it's holding up pretty well. Maybe if I had applied a little bit more, maybe another layer, it would be a little bit more armored down, but I don't see the need in it. I think it looks really nice just the way it is, but I think I could literally go on another six to eight hours with this foundation on and it still look the same. I think this will be a good foundation, especially when you're in a professional field and you're not allowed to wear heavy makeup. It really looks like your skin, but better. It says it's a medium buildable coverage. I think it's more like a sheer to medium buildable coverage because it, depending on how you apply the foundation, you can wear it pretty sheer. And then, you know, you could also use your beauty blender or a sponge to apply it. I like this foundation. It's not bad, but I think that if you have super dry skin, you may want to moisturize really well, um, prep your face really well before you apply this foundation. So if you have a lot of um, pigmentation, you may want to go ahead and conceal those areas before you um, apply this foundation, which is probably why they came out with the um, color correctors that they did. So this foundation is super weightless. So when I put the blush and the bronzer and the highlighter and the extra brightening concealer, I feel those products on my face more than I feel the foundation, if that makes any sense. And I don't think I'll get the best results with this foundation as I would with the Fenty foundation. So I would say I would probably keep my Fenty as my medium to full coverage foundation and I'll keep this one as a sheer to medium foundation. Does that make any sense? I like the way my foundation turned out. I would say the only thing I would do different is add a little bit of brightening concealer. So they claim that this foundation is transfer proof. We are going to see. I have been sweating in this foundation. I didn't add any powder. So we're going to see. This is a clean um, paper towel. So we're going to see. I'm going to try up here. Oh, nothing. Yeah. This side. No. No transfer. So. There you have it, transfer proof. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for the video. Please don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you think about this foundation. And if you have gotten this foundation, comment down below and let me know what your shade is. I love interacting with you guys. But as always, stay blessed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. She loving the likes. She living the life, yeah. She Instagram famous. You know that it's dangerous.
Baby, you famous. Instagram famous. Body on 10, your body on 10. Shout out, you banging. Oh, yeah. We gon' get paid now, we gon' get paid now. We gon' get paid now, we gon' get paid now, we gon' get paid now. Loving the lights.